you know, he's certainly going to help us, but the other guys have to be there. Three games without Ricky played good basketball, had some really close games. What what effect do you think that's going to have long term just in this playoff chase without Ricky? Uh, the big time effect on our team. I mean, uh, you go for uh, 40 games or whatever, and he kind of set the the table for us and the way we played. And now we're trying to, on the fly, change a little bit the way we play. Uh, but, uh, it, it, you know, when you lose a player of that caliber, it's, it's going to really affect your team. But like I've told the team here, you know, other people have to step up. We have to find a way. I mean, it's going to uh, even, uh, you look at some of the scores, you know, Phoenix holds out Nash and, and Grant Hill, maybe they found a solution there because they went and beat the Clippers last night. You know, you, never, you just never know in this race what's going to happen. You know, Houston had their starting guards out and they go in and beat Oklahoma City. You know, those are the type of games that you need to win. And uh, if you do those, then you you take care of the other games, you'll be okay. And uh, It's the same story that this trip, we have to win on the road. And if we don't win on the road, we're going to be in trouble. Do you feel like you are comfortable with what your rotation is going to look like now that the trade deadline has passed? You know who you're working with, or do you feel like there's still some things you need to figure out? No, well, you know, you would like to have the consistency, and that's that's what we've struggled with all year. We One, one night we have a guy comes in and really gives gives it a, some, a solid effort. The next night, there's nothing there. So it's uh, it's something that we need from everybody. If we're going to keep in the, in this race, we're going to have people step up consistently night in and night out. How about it change the way uh, you played since Rubio's injury? Well, he said he just sets a whole energy level of both ends of the court, and it's uh, when you lose something like that, it really affects you. everything we did uh, offensively, especially pick and rolls. You know he's. He does things, you know, where other players can't. He sees the floor. He he, he reads the defense very well. So uh, we're trying, and we played him with uh, Luke, and we played him with JJ when he's not there. Now we kind of have to adjust, and I can only play usually one of those guys at a time. Do you think there'll be any effect on the game playing a team that made a couple changes yesterday, including kind of a big emotional one? Uh, let's see, they still have Gasol and Bynum <laughs> and Kobe. No, it's not going to make any difference to them. Okay. You're talking about you need some consistency. What, what do you need from Beasley looking forward? Well, when he when he comes back, he's the, he's the one guy who can get his consistent scoring off the bench. I mean, he can come in and he can get you know 10 points in eight minutes for you. Uh, and then we need him to be consistent at the other end too. But uh, when we get him back, it really helps us in what we can do off the bench. When you take Kevin out, uh, you got a guy you can go to, and that re that really helps us. Once he gets back, you know, with all his health, w what steps does he need to take to kind of establish that consistency? Well, you, you know, I think he's he's going to be effective offensively, but when. When he doesn't, uh, he doesn't get into the flow offensively. He's not making shots. We really need him to keep his concentration defensively and rebound the ball. I mean, uh, he, he's uh, he's an offensive player. He's been that way his whole life. And when he's really got it going, he's a very active player. When he doesn't, he has a tendency to kind of stay in the shadows. And we we can't afford that. We have to have it all the time. What did he notice? Does it sound like it's just a day-to-day -day thing? Or is that yeah, I think it is. He told me yesterday that it's getting better. It feels a lot better. So I'm. And I'm hoping with the day off today and, and then tomorrow that maybe in Sacramento, but I, I don't, I can't tell you. As, as he was kind of going through that uncertainty before the deadline, whether he'd stay or not. What, what did you notice about his temperament just as far as no, handling that? he's been fine. Uh, yeah. he, he's handled it well, and, and I think, uh, uh, you know, we have 20-plus games left, and we need him to be a part of that if we're going to have any success, and I think he's ready to do that.